You've heard the terms global warming and climate change, and you likely know that they refer to the same phenomena. So why are these two terms used to describe the same concept? Global warming refers to the increase in average global temperature. Since the 1850s, our planet has experienced approximately 0.8 degrees Celsius of warming. Our planet experiences increases in average temperature when extra solar radiation becomes trapped in our atmosphere. This extra energy begins to disrupt long-established climate patterns, resulting in stronger winds, increased evaporation, and shifting of ocean currents. These abnormalities can affect regional weather patterns in a variety of ways, and these effects are collectively known as climate change. The terms climate change and global warming have been used in a scientific sense since the 1970s. However, global warming, being the cause of climate change, was substantially more common in the public forum. Suddenly, however, in 2003, a conservative political consultant named Frank Luntz facilitated a switch. In a secret memo, Luntz wrote, It's time for us to start talking about climate change instead of global warming, and conservation instead of preservation. Climate change is less frightening than global warming. As one focus group participant noted, climate change sounds like you're going from Pittsburgh to Fort Lauderdale, while global warming has catastrophic connotations attached to it. Climate change suggests a more controllable and less emotional challenge. The transition from using global warming to climate change was not due to changing scientific definitions or theories, but was instead a rhetorical ploy used to influence the public into perceiving the environmental crisis as less urgent or dangerous than it really is. Running away from the problem is not going to make it go away. We need to address global warming and climate change, or whatever else you want to call it, before it is too late.